I just want to tell you I love the Beatles. They have great music and great talent. I have their albums, t-shirts, and items. I even enjoy the old cartoon of the Beatles that was made in the 60s. But it wasn't long until I found out there was a morbid secret to the cartoon. I was at a collector's shop where they had a section about the Beatles. I was looking for some Beatle mugs and pins. I bought two Beatle mugs and four Beatle pins and I was just about to leave the Beatles section. Something caught my eye. It was a videotape called The Beatles Cartoon The Lost Episode. I really wanted to get it, so I told my mom I wanted to buy it. And when I went to tell the counter worker I would like to buy the tape, he said I couldn't have it. He told me that he watched it and had nightmares. I was surprised that he said that about the tape because it was the Beatles. How can a cartoon about a band be scary? But he said, never mind, you're just gonna have nightmares anyway, and gave me the tape. And while I was walking away, I saw him folding his hands like he was praying. I was starting to feel like there was something wrong with the tape. When I got home, I immediately went downstairs to watch this mysterious video. When the video went on, something weird happened in the beginning. It was the sound of screams of someone in agony. I was scared until the opening title was on. It was like usual. The episode was called Because. And I thought it had to do with the Abbey Road song, Because. Then the cartoon played and something was wrong. It was totally different than the original style. It looked similar to the original, but it looked darker. Then the episode showed all four Beatles in the original design, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. They had voice actors that sound like Paul Fries and Lance Preciseville. They were talking about some kind of CD they found outside the recording studio and talked about listening to it. This was strange as CDs weren't invented until 1976 and the show was produced in the late 60s. So then the scene showed John putting the headphones on until it happened. John all of a sudden just looked like he just blacked out. Then Paul said, John, you are alright? Then the screen zoomed up to John who had started drooling. And all of a sudden John's eyes turned into an LSD acid trip image with weird colors. After about 10 seconds of John's acid tripping face, something appeared. I grabbed the clicker and went backwards to see what it was. What I... What I saw was a morbid, grotesque picture. It was a picture of a man with a ventriloquist dummy. The scary part of the picture was that the man with the dummy had no mouth. Instead, there was blood on his face where his mouth was supposed to be. The dummy had fire in his eyes and an insane smile. I had to choke back some vomit before watching it. Then the screen went black to John's face. Are you alright? asked Ringo. Seeing is not believing. Seeing is killing. John soon got back to conscious and said, Yes. Yes, I am. What time is it, George? It's 1.13, said George. Then the screen went black, and blood started to rain down. The blood rain soon disappeared and soon showed the Beatles walking to a lake. A crowd of girls soon started chasing the guys for 30 seconds when all of a sudden a picture of a girl with no eyes, just her eye sockets dripping with blood appeared. She had no teeth and more blood was pouring out of her mouth. It was another picture of a Zalgo victim that was popular on creepypastas. I jumped back on the couch after seeing it. Then the scream went to John's face and all of a sudden the screaming of the fans stopped. And when all four of them turned around to check, all the fans were on the ground burning to a crisp. Paul, clearly petrified, asked, What happened? Then the scene showed Ringo vomiting out red vomit with chunks of brown meat. Just forget about it, said John. But what about our fans? I don't give a f I was shocked that this episode involves John saying the F word, but I decided to continue on. The next scene showed a building that was about to be demolished. The Beatles were walking down a hallway when the wrecking ball hit the building. A piece of rumble went flying in the air. It was about to miss a person when John did the unthinkable. He pushed the man to where the piece of rubble was about to fall. In a second, the piece of solid marble crushed the guy to death. A crowd of people surround the scene where the camera zooms up to John with an evil smirk on his face. The next scene only showed just a black screen. The only thing I heard was a gunshot. Then. 
There was a smoke that seemed to represent the fired gun. Then the screen showed the recording studio where the Beatles record their music. There was no lights on, but I did hear mumbling, and I listened closely to hear someone saying, I shouldn't have done that. They're going to know soon. Then one light went on. There was a shadow outside the door. It was the form of John. It wasn't long until the light was reflecting to the sound manager in the recording booth. I quickly figured out he was shot by a shotgun. The camera zoomed up to the ground outside the room, and a quick shock. A model M1887 fell to the ground with blood on it and bits of smoke still coming out of the barrel. The next scene showed Paul and George and Ringo knocking on John's door. Then Ringo, for some reason, busted down the door and there was a humongous safe that was the size of an SUV. They didn't know what the combination was, but for some reason it wasn't locked up all the way. They opened it, and they found out John's secret. He was a Satanist. There was a dead body of a woman on a pentagram with blood and her eyes gorged out. There were dead animals, a fan-made Necronomicon and a goat's skull on a pentagram. In fear, George fell to the ground. Paul had to choke back vomit and Ringo in a sad way started crying. Crying from Ringo didn't sound like normal cartoon crying. It sounded real as day. And in shock, I found out the dead woman was Ringo's fiance, Jenny. I don't know that Ringo had a fiance, but I was scared that Ringo's crying started to get mixed with screams of a girl. I started to suspect that was supposed to be the screams of Jenny. The screen went black. Then the screen showed the view of the sun setting from John's legs. The screen immediately went to John's face that he had a mad expression and a rapid moving mouth. He had red in his irises. He had a noose around his neck. He was about to commit suicide. He shut his eyes and jumped. The camera showed John's feet still swinging. The camera zoomed out to show John's lifeless body hanging on the small cliff on the lake that the Beatles were going to in the beginning of the episode. The screen went black and Paul appeared in a sad expression, and the screen went black again. And then the scary part begins. Without warning, Paul's face appeared with hyper-realistic eyes. There's so many camera views of Paul's face like a zoom out of him in the corner, and then pictures appeared. I remember seeing a picture of a hand with a gun in it and the gun was pointed at a little boy's head but the gun was already fired another was a river with a garfish in it and right behind the fish was a body of a couple in a bloody mess next picture was a burnt town people were on the ground dead quickly I discovered that the town was destroyed during attack it was destroyed because of the Vietnam War the next picture was three undertakers with seven coffins with little children no younger than six Behind the left caretaker was a coffin with a hand coming out of it, and the hand was moving. After more pictures, it shows Paul with the same expression that he had before the scary slideshow. Then a voice appeared, a low, low, quiet voice saying, Do it. Then an M1911 Colt pistol appeared in Paul's hand. He puts it in his mouth and pulls the trigger. Blood and blame matter went everywhere. Then the camera zoomed up on the capsule of the bullet that shot Paul. The capsule said, Your life was already over, Paul. The next scene shows George on a cliff from the same lake John committed suicide. He was about to commit suicide too. I thought he was going to jump off the cliff, but instead, he pulled out a gun and shot himself. At the end of the scene, the camera zoomed up on the gun, and the gun was the same gun Paul used to commit suicide. And then the gun said, It takes two bullets to kill two beetles. It scared me a little bit. It sent chills down my spine. The next scene showed Ringo in a hospital, dying of an unknown disease. He took the picture of him and his fiance and the engagement ring he gave her, and then he died. At the end of the episode, it appears to be a dark hall. All I heard was screams, whistles, yelling, and gunshots. I soon found out the hall was in a prison. The scary part was that every time the lamp swings in the hall, a black hooded figure appeared. It wasn't long until I figured I was John with a gray skin and red iris. He said, I hope you've enjoyed your life, because my life is over, including my friends all because of me. John. And right behind him was a crowd of guards and prisoners. 
It seemed that some of them had bullet holes in their head and blood all over their bodies. And the weird part was that the prisoner that was right next to John was Mark Dave Chaplin. It scared me how the guy who killed Lennon was right behind the evil demonic cartoon John Lennon. For 30 seconds, evil John and the crowd of prisoners and guards started walking straight like if they were walking towards me. The more they kept walking, the more blood they got on themselves. John started to turn into a snake in a weird way. His eyes turned reptilian, his, his eyes turned reptilian, his skin turned scaly, and his tongue was in the form of a snake's tongue. And then, the episode finally ended. I went backwards and kept rewinding the opening credits to believe how stupid I was to believe it was a nice episode. It wasn't long until something caught my eye. I looked closely at the bottom of the word, because... I paused to see that the episode was actually called The Beatles Cartoon. Because of John, they're dead. I was about to take the tape out until the VCR went on fire. I immediately got my mom in a fire extinguisher. We put out the fire and to discover that the VCR was still okay because we put in more VCR tapes in and they worked. But the only thing that was destroyed by the fire was the tape. And it was the tape that started the fire. Mom and I went to the collector's shop and brought the tape back. The counter worker for the Beatles section said, What happened to the tape? It was set on fire when the tape ended, I said. He took the tape and threw it away. The next day, I was in the car with my mom to take something back that my dad forgot to take to work when we saw police surrounding a house and six men were being retrieved out of the house. My mom was told by an officer that six men were arrested for drug possession and grave robbery. It wasn't long until stuff came out of the house and that stuff was like the things people use for recordings for cartoons. They even found drawings of what they say is a morbid cartoon. It involved the Beatles. The police were informed that they sold the tape to a collector's shop. I told the police I got the tape and they showed me the drawings to see if I was right. I got all of them right. After telling them about the tape, they gave me an award of $200. I was glad that I got the money, but that sight of seeing the tape scarred me half to death. For four days I had nightmares, and then the nightmare stopped. The tape. A tape appeared on my front porch, and then it said, you shouldn't have watched that. But I threw it away in the trash, never seen that thing again. But I wonder why that tape said that. <laughs>